This drum machine will make you fall in love. Okay, I know it was a pretty corny joke. Crab Tendo. What's going on, guys? Today we're checking out XLN Audio's XO, which is a drum machine sequencer slash drum organizer, and it's a pretty decent tool. And in this review, we're gonna go over some of the working parts, and I'm gonna give my opinions about it because I have been sitting on it for a while because I was a beta tester, and I'm gonna give my final thoughts on it. So we'll definitely find out if it's good or not. And if you'll like it, please leave a comment below. You know how we go. So here it is in the flesh here. The link will be in the description box if you wanna check it out on your own and all the information and all that. And as you can see, it has some similarities to Atlas, which is another plugin that I've already did a review on, but with its own twist, instead of this being an Atlas map, this is called space. So what you're looking at is a whole space of samples that you can mess with. So, you know, you have the flex area, you have your kicks, drums, and all that in this one particular area here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the other stuff that you can do, which you can drag and drop your drums as such in here, which I've already tested out, but I wanna show you how it works. I'm gonna drag these drums over here. It'll just show you that, and then it says not scan. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and scan and refresh. So depends how big your drum pack is and how intelligent of a person that name the drums what they were supposed to be named, then it will organize it in that manner. So, you know, it just depends on the person and how they did it. It does come with its own factory content too, so you don't have to worry about dragging and dropping any drums in here, but it does help you organize your drums. So what I'm gonna do here now is we're gonna test out a, another feature of this, and that is this particular area, which has a whole bunch of grooves. So as you can see, it does a pretty good job with just going into different sequences in sync, even though it has different BPMs. I'm just point, pointing that out there, which is pretty cool. But for those who may just want to get into the groove and, you know, have something laid out, you can get a fresh, nice idea. And the way you would do that to sync it to host here, so it'll be good, is just right here, you just sync it to your host. And as you see, I got 130 BPM up here, so... I will just go ahead and just press this button too as well, which will allow for playback at the same time. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sample over here from my sample pool over in NFL. And I am gonna just shrink down the sample itself. <clears throat> do some quick mixing. There we go, put the volume down a bit. Now I'm gonna go back into XO. Now we have XO open and we have everything synced up. I'm gonna make sure everything is synced up and we're gonna play. Let's explore some stuff. Hey, hey, hey. I kind of like that one right here. So, but I'm just gonna go and show you some other stuff that I like about this because it gets it pretty cool. So it does have a random section here. So if you roll the dice and try other things out, if you don't find anything that you like, you can do that. And yes, they do have trap stuff in here as well. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of the trap beat that they have in here, but you can fixate it. Uh, what I am a fan of is some of the preset stuff that they have. So you can select other kinds of grooves just to fit what you want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select this groove. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit this edit button and now we can see what the drums we have in here. And now you can adjust the samples. Of course, you can adjust what you have here. You can adjust the start the end point. Just maybe you don't like that part. And just I'm gonna mess with the snare. So 
So you can adjust stuff there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess with uh, some of the tone of that snare here. And yes, if you do have a MIDI controller of any type, you can have this sync to your drum. And you can do your own groove. And I want to adjust the pitch. I can adjust the pitch to wherever I want here. Uh, you can adjust the pan and the tone. And the cut. You have velocity over here where you can set it to like 100% velocity. But if you wanted to hit at zero so that you get full impact on your snare or whatever you, sample that you pick, you can do that. So that is pretty cool about that. So one of the things I wanted to show you guys is the fact that you can route this to different effects here. You have your effects section and you know, you can mess with different parameters, of course, uh, give it that uh, effects that you have here. So maybe you want sprung. You can have that in there. And you can select a second effect here. So if I really wanted to do the delay, You can do that as well. So you can do that and you can change the way you want your grooves to be set. So let's. And that is all dependent on what you set your, your grooves to. So. And you can do that over here. You also can set separate swing too. And, you know, like I was saying, you know, you could do a lot of cool stuff here. So uh, there is another dice. So it can get a little crazy for what you create as far as your grooves. In a second, you'll hear how the accentuator works. As they will rearrange stuff. There is some other cool stuff about this that is really nice that I like. Uh, but what I want to do here is maybe I just don't like that snare. And, you know, I just want to mess with different snares. So what I did was I hit this button right here and now we're focusing on the snare and we can, and we can find some similar snares to that. And it does have like a history over here where you can check out like what, what you have done. Other thing I want to point out is this area right here. You know, you can check out what is more related to what you want. So, you know, you can switch snares. And you can select kicks and whatever else. You have a hot switch over here where you can switch kits on the fly. which is very useful when you want to just see what's going on. So when you program whatever else in there, uh, you can get that type of vibe that you want as well as just experimenting with things on the fly. There's an export feature, which I'm just still playing with. And I'm going to go ahead and select my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and just call it drums for now. You can put it anywhere you want. You know, you can select whatever directory you want. I'm just going to go ahead and call it that. And now we start to see other things too. So I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, maybe I, I just want this group particular groove. I'm going to go ahead and just, you can drag and drop it into uh, something like this. Uh, you can also drag your raw stuff into your channels or whatever DAW that you're in. So, you know, you can have that. So, you know, you can make some, you can make your own drums in here as well. So that's pretty cool. I really do like that feature about it. You have a lot of features in here. As you can see, you can choose to normalize or make it relative or max or whatever, or not more normalize it when you export your drums and such. So yeah, it's, it's pretty locked down with a lot of great features, 
a lot of great sounds off rip that you get so let me know how you feel about this guys uh my pros for it is that it's pretty cool it comes with a lot of content off top so that is great and promising there i like the fact that you can adjust drums and you can reshape them so that means that it doubles down as a drum processing tool for making drum kits and it has a lot of effects one of the things i didn't run into is it does have a built-in rc20 which is a plugin that everybody asked me to do so you can do lo-fi and all that other cool stuff if you're into that and it allows you to drag and drop your grooves as well so if you're in the daw that has some weird functionality issues or if that is the way you like to rock you can do that that way so you can get your midi that's cool my only con for it i guess would maybe be that it could be a little cpu intensive just a little bit my other con is that it's price a little beefy but you know granted that it might be sales down the line hopefully it will be but it's really good for quick ideas too and it has a lot of drum grooves that you can explore so do i give it the stamp of approval yes mm -hmm.